House Homeland Security and Oversight Committees. It is essentially a shot across the bow to Russia. It's a, a six month warning that if they don't um, start complying, the U.S. will pull out. Is that appropriate in your view? Yeah, absolutely. I think it is. I mean, down here in Tennessee, we're taught you don't take a knife to a gunfight. And uh, the Russians have been violating this treaty. They've got 100 of these uh, 9M729 missiles. Um, and China, I mean, they're not even in the treaty. They've got 2,000 plus ballistic and cruise missiles, 95% of which are in that intermediate range. We're, we're in a strategic rivalry with two countries, and we've got one arm tied behind our back. It's absolutely appropriate. And uh, if you look at the process that Secretary Pompeo has gone through, I mean, he's done the 60-day notice. You know, he, he gave them that in December. Uh, negotiations broke down again in January. It, it's time to do it. Uh, the president's uh, senior advisor, Kellyanne Conway, says uh, that this is simply the president's way of trying to protect the American people. Listen. He's somebody who's trying to bring peace and prosperity here and abroad, but at the same time, his America First policy extends all the way around the globe as well, and his first duty is to keep us all safe. A lot of people hear that the United States is pulling out of a nuclear treaty. They think, oh, this is going to be a dangerous thing. Is the president keeping us safe uh, by withdrawing? Absolutely. You know, President Trump has been, all this talk about how he's been easy on Russia, I mean, he's been very firm with Russia, and this is just another opportunity to be firm with. They're violating the treaty, so it's uh, it's appropriate, and it probably sets us up for talks on New START, which will happen in February, or well, uh, it'll end in February of 21. So I think it's appropriate to be tough and firm. They're violating the treaty. It's the right thing to do, and it is protecting Americans. What about uh, writing a new treaty that includes China? As you rightly point out, China was not a signatory to this treaty, and and has not been abiding anywhere close to by its terms. Yeah, John, it's a great point. You know, treaties ev have to evolve as technology and time and relationships change. Clearly, China is, this is a tripolar world now, not a bipolar world, and we have to involve them in these talks. Um, and, and it's appropriate. It's time to do it. Does the United States, um, essentially, by abiding by the treaty, in, in your view, the United States is at a disadvantage? Uh, our people are um, in danger? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like I said at the beginning, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Um, we've got one arm tied behind our back. We essentially have an entire weapon system that we don't have that China has about, you know, somewhere around 2,000 of, and Russia is clearly already violating the INF. So it's, it's time for America to, one, get out of this treaty, and two, develop those weapon systems. We're looking at Vladimir Putin. He has signaled he's not happy with the administration's decision here. Does that yeah, indicate that not. it's a pretty good idea? Yeah, it's absolutely a great idea. And his response tells us that, again, President Trump is being firm with Russia. It's appropriate. It's right. I mean, if you compare this president's actions to the last president, they wouldn't give lethal aid to the Ukraines. President Trump has. Um, I mean, and now with this INF treaty and many other things, the president is being very firm with Russia. Uh, Secretary Pompeo is absolutely right. And the process they've gone through to get here is uh, very fair. So... Congressman Mark Green, Republican of Tennessee. Thanks for spending Thanks, some John. time with us this morning.